Around the Pacific Ocean there is a ring of fire, so called because of its significant level of volcanic activities. At the south end of that lies New Zealand. The middle of the North Island has a considerable amount of geothermal activity because of the Earth's crust being thin there. The main hotspot is just north of Lake Taupo, which actually lies in a crater of an extinct supervolcano. When I first arrived at my resort of Weraki, I thought someone was having a bonfire until I found it was actually steam. Nearby there was a geothermal power station capturing the energy and turning it into electricity. Another point of interest nearby was called Craters of the Moon, although with the amount of greenery around I don't think that anyone would be fooled, but it was certainly an eerie place. Fortunately there were boardwalks and viewing platforms because the ground itself was very hot. The craters had in part been formed because of the adjacent power station having lowered the water table. Ten miles north of Wiraki was the Hidden Valley, which was certainly well off the beaten track. The only access was by boat across the Wikato River, which is the longest in New Zealand. Again, there were boardwalks to guide visitors safely around the various terraces. The original Maori name for the area was Orake Karako, meaning Place of Adorning. It is the largest geyser field in New Zealand, but the eruptions are unpredictable in both timing and duration. There were many different colours emerging from the steaming waters. This was caused by hot water algae, which can be green, brown, yellow or black, according to the species. The terraces have been given apt names, such as Rainbow and Cascade. The Tikapu Terrace, Maori for the cloud, is a silica deposit 5 metres high and 40 metres long.
As always in New Zealand, there was no problem finding a fellow tourist happy to do a camera swap for a location shot. The return journey was again swift and probably a lot safer than the dugout canoe originally used a century ago for the Traverse. I was back to my car and the country lanes, but others used a float plane to zoom speedily back to their Lake Taupo base. Since the lake covers 238 square miles, landing there is certainly no problem. <laughs> 